हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल दैस कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ केमिस्ट्री बिफोर स्टार्टिंग टूडेज लेक्चर प्लीज डू सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स टूडेज टॉपिक फॉर द लेक्चर इज नॉमन क्लेचर ऑफ एलिमेंट्स विद अटोमिक नंबर ग्रेटर देन वन हंड्रेड सो नाउ लेस डिस्कस सम पॉइंट वन बाय वन द वेरी फर्स्ट पॉइंट द एलिमेंट्स कमिंग आफ्टर यूरेनियम विच डू नॉट एग्जिस्ट नेचुरली आर नेम्ड एज ट्रांस यूरेनियम एलिमेंट्स Now it's point number two. The elements with atomic number one hundred four to one hundred sixteen and one hundred eighteen have been reported recently and are called trans actinides or a super heavy elements. These are synthetic, that is, man-made elements. Now let's come to the point number three. The production of synthetic elements require nuclear reaction, which makes the changes in the number of protons or neutrons in the nucleus of elements ultimately giving rise to a new element now let's come to the point number 4 there are currently two major groups working in the production of super heavy elements the one in california usa and the other at moscow russia so now let's come to the fifth point by convention the workers who discover a new elements have the right to name it have a right to name the new element now let's come to the sixth point however in recent years on account to competitive spirit disputes have risen over the names of newly discovered elements for example both american and russian scientists claimed credit for the discovery of the element number 104 with atomic number 104 the americans named it rutherfordium and the russians named it kerchetovium point number 7 to avoid such problems iupac suggested that until the discovery of new element is proved and its name is officially recognized a systematic nomenclature based on the atomic number of the element is followed now is point number 8 So following are the rules of naming elements with atomic number greater than 100. The very first rule, the names are derived by using the numerical roots for the three digits in the atomic number of the element and adding the ending em. So I am going to make a table in which I am going to give you the numerical roots. Now let's come to the second point. The symbol for the element is made up from the first letter from the roots which make up the names. So now let's come to the table. Here I have made a table in which I am going to give you the numerical roots from digit number zero to nine. So I am writing. First of all, the digit is the first digit is zero. For zero, the name have been given is nil, and its abbreviation will be. small n from name we are going to derive the name of the element and from abbreviation we are going to derive the symbol of the element now the second one is now the digit is 1 for digit 1 the name is un and its abbreviation will be u now the digit 2 its name will be by and its abbreviation will be small b now digit is 3 its name will be try and its abbreviation will be small t now the digit is 4 its name will be quad and its symbol will be q now the digit is 5 its name will be pent and its abbreviation will be small p now the digit is 6 its name will be 
hex and its abbreviation will be H now the digit is 7 its name will be sept and abbreviation will be small s now the digit is 8 its name will be oct and its abbreviation will be small o now one more digit the digit is 9 its name will be n its e n n and its abbreviation will be small e so these are the numerical roots for the digits and we have to follow these numerical roots for naming the atomic number greater than 100 so let us do some examples for example we have to name atomic number 101 101 now here the first digit is 1 for 1 the numerical root is un it's un so i'm writing it's u n un now the second digit is 0 for 0 the numerical root is nil so it's un it's nil and then we are having again one the third digit is one so for one the numerical root is un so it's un nil un and after that in the end we have to add a word em so the name of element with atomic number 101 will be un nil un em so its symbol will be for un we are having a symbol u for nil we are having a symbol n and for again un the symbol will be u so for 101 it will be u and u now let's come to the second atomic number uh, let it be like 1 0 2 for 1 0 2 again for 1 the numerical root is un for 0 the numerical root is nil and for the digit 2 for the numerical root is by so it comes out to be by and we have to add a word called em at the end of the name so it's un nil by em so now its symbol for un the numerical root is sorry the abbreviation is u for nil the abbreviation is n and for by the abbreviation is b so the element will be called as u and b now let's come to the atomic number one zero three here again the first digit is one so it's un the second digit is again zero so it will be nil and the third digit is three for three the abbreviation is try so it comes out to be t r i and we have to add a letter em word sorry we have to add a word em at the end of the name so it comes out to be un nil try em so the symbol for this atomic number 103 will be 
Now for un, the symbol is u. For nil, the symbol is small n. For try, the symbol is small t. Uh, now let us take uh, atomic number 111 now. As an example, I am taking the atomic number 111. So, the first digit, digit is 1. So, first digit is 1, so its numerical root will be un. The second digit is also 1, so it's again un. The third digit is also 1, so it's again un. So its name is un, 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 and we have to add a word em at the end. So the element with atomic number 111 will be called as un, 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 em. So now let us talk about the symbol. The symbol will be for un, the symbol is u for again un the symbol is u and now again is un so the symbol is u so let me take one more example let us talk about the atomic number 117 now here the first digit is 1 so it's numerical root will be un. Now the second digit is also again 1 so numerical root again comes out to be un and the third digit is 7. For 7 it's sept. For 7 it's sept so we are writing sept and we have to again add a word em at the end so the name of the element with atomic number 117 is un un septium. So now let's talk about the symbol. It's un, so it will be u. The second numerical root is again un, so it's again u. The third numerical root is sept, so it's s. So that's all for today. I hope you all understood how to evaluate the names of the atomic number greater than 100. So I hope you all understood today's lecture. If any student wants to book a paid one-to-one -one online class to clear their doubts, then he, she can contact me. My phone number is mentioned on thumbnail of this lecture. Please like, subscribe and share this channel to maximum number of students. Don't forget to press the subscribe button. Stay blessed.